How many of you were around for the early days of skull cleaning on this channel where I was like, guess what's under bucket number or box number or whatever, and I'd lift it up and there'd be a critter in there. I just thought for fun we'd do that today. So today, what is under the Yeti tank? Boom! <laughs> Yard cougar. That is a gopher. They're almost completely blind. This one is a grade A plus size gopher. Got these crazy little digging claws. They've got, you know, those, uh, I call them root cutters, but those crazy rodent type teeth. Uh, I was up at a friend's house yesterday and his yard and lawn is just getting ravaged by the gophers. And I said, well, let's, let's clear a few out. In the meantime, I'll do a skull video out of one. So here we go. Silverware IBK Havel 70 XT blade. These are my tools to go to work. Let me pull focus and we'll get that skull out of there. Hey y'all, just in case you didn't know, this will be a bit graphic. Yes, I'm going to take the skull out of the inside of this little animal. Just be warned. Here we go. Just, if you've never skinned anything before, just cut till your knife hits something hard and then follow that web membrane that joins the bone against the hide, if you will. It almost looks like a little spider web. Just touch, touch, touch. Work your way around until you've got all the skin, hide, and tissue removed from that skull. And then in the next step, we're gonna do this really, really simple, because this is a tiny skull, about the size of your thumb. Mr. Beans? Once I've got that skull removed, because it's so small, I'm not too worried about getting everything off. So I'm gonna drop the skull in a Ziploc bag. Let's pause to say hello to Mr. Beans. Hello, people. <laughs> okay. Oh, the most wonderful dog that ever existed. Now back to the program at hand. I put that skull in that Ziploc, took the air out of it, a little squirt of dish soap, dropped it in a pot and brought it to a boil. I let it boil for about 10, 15 minutes. Then I pulled it out, took it in the yard and power washed very delicately all the meat and tissue off. We have implemented white bone creation power washing law. You want to spray into every hole and every orifice. Anywhere there is meat or tissue, make it go away. Fast forward will make anything look easy, just be delicate. So once it's clean, I put it back in that exact same Ziploc, I fill it up full of 40% by volume, liquid peroxide straight, dropped it back into the boil, brought it up five minutes, pulled it out, rinsed it. I'm gonna show you the finished product. Hey, back in the front yard, I don't know why, um, the gopher skull is done. The whole thing took maybe about an hour and it's really, really dry. The two top pieces on the nose, the bridge come off, so I took tweezers and just slid them back in like a ring and pin, and man. They just go back in, they dry, you don't have to glue them. So he's just super cool. I have to take some close-up shots because it's kind of hard to see, but um, if you're delicate and you give it a little bit of time, you can pretty much use this method on most skulls. Sometimes the birds get a little too thin, uh, but this is kind of an older animal, I would have to guess, just based on his size, and just another little cool critter to have on display, um, and one less thing eating up the lawn. So, thank you for watching, Till next time. Mm -hmm.